Hey friends, some very interesting archaeological finds lately in the news. This 40,000 year old severed wolf head found in the permafrost, the melting permafrost in Siberia by mammoth ivory hunters. This is a, um, a cottage industry really, these uh, mammoth hunters, woolly mammoth hunters who find ivory, you can see these ivory tusks being hauled out of Siberia that are melting. Due to climate change, this permafrost is melting as well as glaciers retreating. You may recall back in 91, um, Otzi or the Iceman discovered on the border of the Italian Swiss Alps, dating back guys to 3400 BC around a thousand years before the Egyptian pyramids and Stonehenge. Remember this story? Well, this was found in, a, in the melting glacial ice back in the early 90s. Well, this trend is only increasing. And check out this huge wolf head. Uh, and more finds are gonna be coming up as the glaciers and the permafrost melts. Now, of course, extinct species like the woolly mammoth and in North America, the mastodon on the right, you can see here, the mammoth is on the left with the curved ivory tusks and the more kind of elephant looking mastodon found in North America is on the right. Both of these species went extinct about 10,000 years ago. And the prevailing theory is that these large animals coincide, their extinctions coincided with the incursion of um, humans hunting them, dating back to as far as 14,300 BC in Oregon. Um, as evidenced in the Paisley Caves Complex in South Central Oregon, where much of this research is taking place to, to the tracing to the earliest humans roaming North America came by um, on the Bering Land Bridge during the last ice age and the retreating of the ice. While these extinct animals coincide with the incursion of humans because these were hunted as was the extinct also coinciding the same extinction extinction period with the ancient camelots camelops creature not camelot camelops you can see the scale here man these camelops were enormous compared to the present day camel many don't realize that camelops the native uh camels are they were um, generated from the Americas and went extinct but of course they're found throughout Asia and the Middle East now but they went extinct about the same period 10,000 years ago enormous camel cameloid type creatures pretty interesting stuff there um, so yeah more of these discoveries are going to be coming apparent as the glacier glaciers retreat from climate change global warming as well as permafrost and of course many of these discoveries happen as people um do construction work like underneath football stadiums and city parking lots and stuff excavators often find this kind of stuff but in my research i was discovering that these Siberian uh, mammoth hunters, check it out. They water blast hillsides, guys, to try to get at this ivory, really changing the landscape. And it's pretty controversial, you know, to go deeper than they can just with conventional methods, but blasting up, essentially mining. You can see in this picture here with pressurized water hoses to get at these finds. But again, this is only going to increase these discoveries. Who knows what science is going to unearth as our climate changes 
and you can see this head of this woolly mammoth here and the curved tusks. Thanks for watching. I look forward to reading your comments below on this subject and any interesting species or archaeological uh, news stories that you're aware of or research that we may find interesting, please post those in the comments section below as this is a fa fascinating topic. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, look around my channel because literally every day something's new around here.